Sport, sport, sport. The importance of the TUE Sports Center and motivational clothes hangers to get you running. They're featured in this, the latest episode of Heroes Like You TV. Hi there, I'm your host Barry Fitzgerald and you're very welcome to the latest episode of Heroes Like You TV where you'll hear about the latest news and events related to our Lustrum year. Right, let's get into our sport-themed stories in this episode. Almost everybody does some form of sport, whether it's running, cycling, walking, swimming, or playing football. And of course, we have our sporting heroes, those who we look up to for inspiration when we do sport and also for other aspects of life. To delve into the connection between sport and the TUE campus, I spoke to Raymond Starka, who's a manager and trainer at the TUE Student Sports Center on the TUE campus. I first asked Raymond about the importance of the TUE Sports Center and why it was so badly missed during the lockdowns. If anything, the, the whole COVID situation highlighted why the Sports Center is so important. Um, we're not just a place for physical activity, we're a place where people get together and meet up. Uh, we have uh, 37 associations, that's a place where people meet. We have a sports cafe, that's where people meet. Um, so it's not just about, uh, you know, getting active, it's also about relaxation, you know, doing something else besides work and study. And uh, having the sports center closed for four months, you know, has been, uh, has been tough for us, but especially for the students and the employees. With it being an Olympic year, I asked Raymond, what can we learn from Olympic heroes and athletes for our everyday lives? Uh, that's a good question, Barry. I think, of course, uh, we're not professional athletes, but um, something that we have in common is that we strive to something. You know, we all have a goal that we like to achieve, whether it is to win a match, to win the league or to improve, to get stronger, to get faster or, you know, to have a more active social life. So in that sense, uh, I think there are some parallels that in we're all working on something and the sports center really likes to help people with that. And so in that sense, we also have a bit of the Olympic spirit uh, at the, the TU campus. I'm an avid runner and I love getting out for an early morning run. Most of the time I am well motivated, but there'll always be days where I feel like, well, do I want to do this right now? Running or exercising in general can be hard for many people as it's difficult to stay motivated and follow through with your promises. Daphne Menhera, a postdoctoral researcher at the Department of Industrial Design at TUE, has worked on the development of products that can help people to stay motivated with regards to running or exercising. As part of her PhD, which she recently completed, Daphne co-developed a number of products with a team of students. Let's hear first from Daphne about one of those products, a motivational clothes hanger. So one of the things we designed is Miria. This is designed together with Aline. And Miria is a clothing hanger that lets clothes fall on the ground when you don't go running. Because, because we saw that many people indicated that once they're dressed, they'll go for a run. So we wanted to get people from the couch to their dressing room. I'm a big fan of studying the statistics of my runs afterwards and analyzing the route. But Daphne and two of the students developed a very interesting way to visualize your run at home. Aviana and Mess designed Lena. And Lena is a shape-changing art piece that physicalizes your last running route. And it takes one or two days to develop. So once you already forgot about the run that you did, Lena will remind you that you went. And this, this shape-changing art piece uh, stimulates anticipation of your next running route, but also it, it removes all the, all the maybe bad feelings you might have gotten during your run. Finally, I asked Daphne, what can we learn in terms of taking part in sport and exercising from the athletes and heroes competing at the Olympics? What professional athletes uh, use is exercise imagery and this is a technique that they uh, visualize themselves up front to increase the performance during the actual race. 
and we borrowed that technique and, and used it for recreational sporters, where a scent diffuser designed by Nichte actually triggers this exercise imagery beforehand, but in our case, it actually can enhance motivation to go for a run. Well, after hearing from both Raymond and Daphne, I have to say I'm going to head out for a run right now because I'm energized after hearing them talk about sport and sport on the TUE campus. Thanks very much for watching this episode of Heroes Like You TV. We'll be back with another episode very, very soon. And of course, be sure to check out the TUE website for the latest on Lustrum Year news, events, and research topics. And until I see you in the next episode, Stay safe and stay healthy.